The density of water is 0.58 ounces per cubic inch. Play-Doh makes its product to be exactly 5 ounces in its smaller cans. So if we want to calculate the density of this Play-Doh, we already know half of what we need to calculate the density. So we just have to determine the volume of the 5 ounces of Play-Doh. It's easy to roll Play-Doh into a sphere, and the equation for the volume of a sphere is equal to pi over 6 times the diameter of the sphere cubed. The diameter of a 5 ounce sphere of Play-Doh is 2 and a quarter inches, or 2.25 inches. So that means the density of our Play-Doh is 0.84 ounces per cubic inch. That is larger than the density of water. So if we drop our Play-Doh sphere in water, it should sink. Yep, it does. What if we don't roll our Play-Doh into a sphere? What if we make its shape a little more interesting? Let's try making a rectangular box. The volume of a rectangular box is length times width times height. The volume of our rectangular box is 1 inch by 3 inches by 3 and a half inches, which is 10.5 cubic inches of volume. So the density of our rectangular box is 5 ounces divided by 10.5 cubic inches, or 0.48 ounces per cubic inch. That is a density that is less than the density of water. It should float. And it does.